In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a website with Wix completely for free, just like the websites that you're looking at now on screen. I'm going to walk you through the whole process from start to finish. So let's jump into the video. So what you need to do is go ahead and go to Wix.com. Now, if it's your first time on Wix, it will take you to this page where you can go ahead and click get started and you can create an account for free without adding a credit card. So go to get started and then you can go ahead and click sign up and then just sign up with your email and password and I'll meet you inside. Okay, so now you've done that, it's going to ask you who you're creating a website for. Now this right here will be the initial onboarding. You can skip this if you don't want to answer these questions, but it is kind of helpful to do so. So I'm creating the website for myself. We can click continue. Then Wix is gonna try and get you to choose their AI to write your website. I wouldn't recommend it as of right now because the AI tool just isn't good enough. So click set up without chat and you can write it manually. Obviously you wanna write your own website. So now you can go ahead and choose what kind of website you want to make. Again, you can skip this and do this all later, but by doing so, Wix are gonna give you templates which they recommend. So I'm going to create a blog website. We can click continue. Now it's going to prepare our dashboard here. And once you're in your dashboard, you can go ahead and configure things like the name of your website. So go ahead and enter in the name now. I'm gonna call it knowledge base. We can then go ahead and click continue. Now again, you'll notice you can skip all of these, but if you are setting up the website, I recommend you just kind of set this up. It will ask you what your goals are, and based on these answers, it will recommend you products and things you should use. For me, I'm just going to select promote a business, build a community, and explore. And then I don't really need Instagram feed or any of these features. The only one that I might need, which is built in, which is the blog feature. You can add any of these at a later date, so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Just flick through it and then continue to your dashboard. Now, once you're on your dashboard, that's pretty much all you can do right here. Now you want to go ahead and design your site. So go ahead and click design site in the top right hand corner. And then again, you're going to be asked, do you want to generate your design with AI? I wouldn't recommend it. What I would do is build from a template. So pick a template, and these are just my recommendations, although you can do this however you'd like. So once you're on the template page, you can go ahead and then choose from all of these templates. It is gonna recommend you some templates, which might be good for your answers that you've gave them earlier. Just choose whichever one you like. You can hover over them and view them first. And if you like the look of it, you can click edit this site, and you can use that template. Now I'm gonna use this one that I've just selected. Okay, so here we are inside of the Wix website builder. Again, they're really pushing their AI content. I'm gonna exit out of this and I'll show you how to do everything manually. So once it loads here, you'll be able to see the tools that you can use on the left. We'll cover these in a minute. You've also obviously got your main website here. And here in the top right hand corner, you can click on this and zoom in and out of your website. If you hover over any of these elements, you can see it highlights them. So right here, we're highlighting the header. This is the welcome section. You've got the categories section and you can go ahead and add sections in between these and delete sections. Not only that, if you zoom in, everything here is editable. So if you double click on this text, you can change this. So I'm gonna change this to knowledge base and notice how this text settings box appears. And we can go ahead and change the font, the font size. If we click on the text and highlight it all here, you can make it bold and you can add effects and change a lot of things and customize the website however you want. Let's say I didn't want this text up here. We can click on it and then click delete on the keyboard and it will remove it. And while we're here, we might as well change the photo as well. So if we click on the element here, you can see we've got the change background button as well as quick edit and some other buttons here. If you click on the change background button, you can then change it to a color, an image or a video, or you can use one of these pre-made banners here from Wix. If you click on image, it will open this window where you can upload your own media from your own computer, or you can go ahead and explore from Wix, Shutterstock or Unsplash. So let's type in here tech, and we will use this one here, change background. And that should then change the background as well as the look and feel of our blog. And we can just zoom out and see how that looks. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? Now we can go ahead and edit these individual sections. So if you edit a section, you can edit stuff like the text, what images appear. You've got here buttons. And, and if you don't like a section, 
or you can't get on with customizing it. So let's say you don't want this category section. Click on the three dots next to it and delete and it will just completely delete it. And you can obviously build out your website however you wanted to here. Now, if you wanted to add text, add media, add elements, you will go to the add elements button. Here you can find all of the elements that you can add, including text, images, you can add buttons, you can add strips, you can add boxes, videos, contact forms. I've made many videos on the individual elements in Wix. I will continue to make more if you want them. So just comment below what video you want to watch. If you go to this second button down, you can add sections. So just like you can delete sections, you can also add sections. So say you wanted to add like a team section with the team of your business, you can drag that on. And there you go, you've now added your team section where you can edit all of these individual elements, the text, you can edit the images and so on. But yeah, you can customize your website however you want. Once it's time to publish it, go to publish in the top right hand corner and give your site a name. So by default, you will be using the free domain if you're on the free plan. So your domain will be your username.wixsite forward slash then your website. So we'll go with my username forward slash knowledge base. Now, if you wanted to change your username because maybe your domain just looks a bit funny, here's real quick how you can do that. So you will go back to Wix. Then you will go ahead and go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, account settings, and here your site URL prefix, this is gonna be your username and you can customize this. But anyway, once you've customized it and you've got the URL to your site and it's published, you can then view it and you'll see here, here is your website. It's exactly as you customized it and it's now public for free. So that's how you can do it. I hope that video helped you out. Comment below if you've got any questions.